What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Lady Bird Movie Review. Now this movie is directed by Greta Gerwig and it stars Sarozy Ronan, hopefully I said that right, and uh, Laurie Metcalf and a bunch more other people. Oh, it's a lot of people actually. Now this movie's actually getting a lot of damn buzz. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. And so I'm like, well, I'll, I'll check it out. You know, it's 100% Rotten Tomatoes. It's, uh, uh, I think, the most, the, the best reviewed movie on Rotten Tomatoes ever. Some Something like that. It's definitely the most consecutive uh, fresh scores. So obviously it's like people are liking this movie, you know, and for, for a good reason. Because when I watched this, I was like, yeah, this is damn good. <laughs> Now, there won't be any spoilers in this movie review, but this is a coming-of-age story. We follow a person named Lady Bird. At least that's what she likes to call herself. Her real name is Christine, but she's having problems with just kind of fitting in growing up. She has problems with her parents, like her mom specifically. Uh, a, a lot throughout this movie is basically her coming to terms with her mother and trying to really understand where she comes from and the way, where she lives and how she lives. And she, you know, she starts to meet with uh, different people, like different friends or also, you know, friends that uh, maybe are a little, a little bit more richer than her. And she just doesn't have the kind of stuff. And so she kind of lies to them at certain places at like where she lives and stuff. And so it, it makes for a very compelling character. And in fact, all these characters are really damn well written and really damn well performed. It's a fantastic movie. This movie is absolutely amazing. It actually is probably one of the best movies of the year, the, the more I think about it. Uh, it. It might be on my top 10. I don't know. It's There's so many damn uh, movies <laughs> that I would like to put in my top 10. And there's only 10 slots. But this definitely, if anything, it definitely deserves it because it's a fantastic movie. It shot really well. And like I said, everyone is on their A-game. They are fantastic in this movie. Every, each and every character feel like just a person. That you, it seems like you're just watching this happening. Like it's, it's almost like a documentary in a way where you just see uh their her life unfolding as you watch and it's incredible uh how i like i can't stress this enough the dialogue is incredibly well written it's very smart it takes into account um how a teenager would be you know and really think and get into the mind of that uh, uh mentality and it's really well done uh two i have like two flaws with the movie uh one flaw is there's, it's so interesting that every character feels pretty damn wrapped up, except they leave like one character out. And I won't say who it is. Um, it's just, there's one certain character I felt like was left out in wrapping his story. And it was so interesting because like every el everyone else, you could just see like their ending, their ending relationship with her or, you know, whatever. But for some reason, she, uh, this one character wasn't. And it felt weird, like it was kind of odd that why was that one character not really brought up ever again? And also, this uh, is very, it's, it might be nitpick, not gonna lie, but I feel like it could have been longer. I totally could have seen another 15 minutes of these characters because you really do actually get attached to these characters. Like I said, that's because because they're so well written. They're so well realized. They feel real. You know, they don't they don't feel like they're reading off a script. They feel like this dialogue is just so fluid that it almost like was just them talking. Like like it was genuinely just these actors just talking in a conversation. But at the same time, it's like it doesn't overstay its welcome. It kind of makes it for that perfect little bow tie. So I, I do understand why it's a shorter movie. But other than that, guys, it's a fantastic movie. I definitely think you should check it out. Overall, I'm going to give Lady Bird a 9.5 out of 10. It's a very amazing movie. Like, I genuinely believe you should check it out. It's, I feel like it's so close to a 10. Um, I just don't think it's quite that. Uh, but it's a fantastic movie. I definitely think you should check it out. I absolutely had a blast. It's in a good amount of theaters right now, so definitely check it out. Uh, if it's nearby you, definitely definitely check it out. Or wait until Blu-ray, but if you can, I suggest it. So yeah, guys, did you see the movie Lady Bird? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.